hello myself yamin and welcome to technology now in this tutorial i am going to talk about how to integrate the a template into a laravel project uh, so i already create a laravel project which i name it as practice and i already run it and in order to integrate a template first of all you need to download a template there is a lot of website where you can download template for free and uh, i download a template from color ib which was this one uh, if you uh, you can see some option over here download and preview if you click preview you can see the full template over here which is quite nice and uh, you can download if if you want to download it just click here download and it will download a zip file like this and uh, you just have to extract it so after you download the file what you need to do is that open the file and copy the css folder file from there and paste it into your projects public folder okay after that uh, what you need to do is you need to go views and create a folder over here let's name it front end and inside front end we create two file i will name one of them as master dot play dot php and I'll create another one. Right click, name it home dot play dot php. Save it. Okay. Once you've done it, uh, you need to create a controller. Now, for creating a controller, you need to go to your project. Uh, for my case, it's called practice and uh, over here you can write cmd or you can also do a shift right click and go to cmd okay i'll just write cmd and click it and here i will say php artisan make controller i will name it uh, template controller template controller okay let's run it click enter okay the controller created successfully uh, if you go to app then http controller you can see template controller over here now what you need to do that you need to go to your template and you have to open the index file of your template and copy the whole code from here Control C and paste it uh, inside our views uh, master folder. Okay. Now what I do that I will write over here. Enter it of extends. Front end dot master. Now, what it will do that it will inherit all the things from master dot bread dot php. Okay, what I have to do is that uh, I can just comment it out over here. Uh, I will just here write route get. Here slash means it will be a root folder. Template controller at the rate of index. Okay, uh, if we run it, we will actually uh, see a error.
okay i did a mistake that spelling mistake actually template controller let's save it uh, it will give us error that it cannot find the index folder index file index does not exist so what what i need to do is that we have to go to our here template controller and we have to say public function index and say return view we'll say master sorry uh, front end dot home control s save it uh, front end dot home over here uh, we put the index code over here and our home file actually extends our master folder file so if we run it okay home dot play dot php okay we have two home folder over here i think i did a mistake it's maybe from before from another project actually so we'll just paste it over here i hope this doesn't create any problem okay here you can see the full template over here now what we will do is that we will make our template dynamic so for that uh, let's say we will uh, do this footer part as dynamic so for that what we will do is that we will go to master.play.php now this is our footer part i will just cut it out control x okay uh, now if i do something like this and run it okay you can see that there is this sign over here you cannot see any footer so what we will do is that we'll write here y i e l yield and call it give it a name footer a title footer and we will go to our home.plate.php over here we will write at the rate of section and we will call our footer title and over here at title end section and inside this we will paste the code and save it and let's see we can if we can see the footer part okay i think i didn't save it correctly home.plate.php over here i didn't save it okay i didn't save it actually okay let's run it here you can see that uh, the footer part is back now there is one more way to do this uh, and let's do it for uh our let's do it for this part or okay from the block let's do it for this part uh, we will use this time instead of yield we will use uh include let's cut it control x let's put some random things over here control s and uh, okay you can see the number that that the block part is gone so here we'll write at the rate of include front 
and dot let's name it block let's save it now we don't have any file name block so we'll just create on over here uh, inside the views front end inside the front end actually we will say block dot play dot php save it okay over here we will what we will do is that we will we just paste the code that we just cut from here control s let's click over here control s as well okay let's hope nothing goes wrong this part should come back right now okay as you can see that the block part is coming back now this is how you can uh, edit your template and and uh, i hope you right now understand how you can integrate a template into your laravel project so thank you for watching this video and please like comment and subscribe if you have have any problem please comment below i will try to reach you back and give you a solution and uh, if you have any advice you can give it as well and thank you very much for watching this video.